first dessert on the menu is my favorite from this entire video, and it's this creamy, thick, vegan chocolate shake. We're gonna start by plopping in two frozen bananas, two cups of plant-based milk. I used unsweetened almond milk. And if you guys wanna learn how to make fresh homemade almond milk, check out this TikTok my sister made. I'll have it linked below. One date, one tablespoon of almond or peanut butter, and two tablespoons of cocoa powder and then we will blend on high for 45 seconds. Possibly an unpopular opinion, but I think almond butter tastes so much better than peanut butter. Comment below if you're team almond or peanut butter. And it's ready to be consumed. Two minutes and you got yourself a bomb chocolate shake. Next, we have oatmeal cookies. You'll only need four ingredients. Start by mashing two ripe bananas in your bowl with a fork. Then pour in two cups of rolled oats. One egg two tablespoons of almond butter or peanut butter. I find it so enjoyable and pleasant to experiment and recreate healthier versions of recipes. It's like a little challenge and it really makes you think about the ingredients and content in your food, helping you become more mindful about what you are consuming. Stir that all together and then begin rolling it into a ball. Place it on a pan and make sure you spray your pan down with the oil so the cookies don't stick. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 12 to 15 minutes. Chocolate banana slices. These were inspired by the ones I saw at Trader Joe's. I got this 92% pure dark chocolate that I'm going to heat up in the microwave until it melts. Don't be afraid to get a high percentage of dark chocolate for this recipe as the bananas are really sweet and it will balance it out. I read somewhere that the magic number to look for on your dark chocolate is above 73% because apparently if it's above 73, then the dark chocolate becomes less addicting. I'll link below two dark chocolate brands that I recommend. We're going to slice up our ripe banana and then begin dipping half of it in the dark chocolate and placing it on a plate. I also saved a lot of money because the bag at Trader Joe's was $5 and it lasted me a week. Here, I spent $6 and it lasted me a month. Stick it in the freezer for a couple hours and it's ready to be eaten. Next, we have cookie dough that only requires five ingredients. We're gonna dump in four tablespoons of almond flour, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one tablespoon of almond or peanut butter, and two tablespoons of almond milk. Stir it all together and throw some chocolate chips in and it's ready. That took one minute to make. I told you guys this video was for lazy people or people on the go. Thank you to Raycon for partnering with me on this video. I've talked about them before to you guys as earbuds are something I use almost every day and the ones on the market are pretty expensive. What I love about Raycon is the amazing quality of sound you're getting for the price. They sell wireless earbuds for half the price of any other premium earbuds on the market. Their latest model, the Everyday E25, which is the one I have, has six hours of playtime, lots of bass, and a compact design so they hide in your ear quite well. It comes with a case that charges your earbuds four times on a single charge. I find the earbuds to be the most useful when I'm exercising. I used to have the earbuds with the cords attached, and let's just say it was not ideal when running. You guys can go to buyraycon.com slash oliviadandrea for 15% off your first order. I'll have it linked in the description box below. Chocolate cookies, you'll need four ingredients. One avocado that you're going to scoop out and put in a bowl. Add some maple syrup in. I did about one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder and one tablespoon of almond butter. And be 
begin rolling this into a ball and placing on your pan, making sure your pan is sprayed down with a little oil so the cookies don't stick. Preheat the oven at 355 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for 15 minutes. And if you like your cookies gooier, then just watch them and take them out a little earlier. Reese's Overnight Oats. This can also be a breakfast. You're gonna pour in half a cup of oats, three quarters of a cup of almond milk, one to two tablespoons of almond butter, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and pour in a little vanilla extract. Mix it all together, and I'm not sure what I was thinking in the moment, but I placed this in the freezer by accident. You're supposed to put it in the fridge and leave it overnight. Vegan fudgesicle, three ingredients. Pour an entire cup of coconut milk, a third cup of cocoa powder, and a third cup of maple syrup. Mix it all together and pour it in a popsicle holder. I didn't have one, so I poured it in a small cup, placed saran wrap over the top, and popped a popsicle stick through the wrap. Left it in the freezer for a few hours, and it's ready. <music> Lastly, mint chip nice cream. Four ingredients. Throw in two frozen bananas, one cup of almond milk, one teaspoon of peppermint extract, a handful or two of cacao nibs. Blend that together for about 45 seconds and pour it in a bowl. I usually stick it in the freezer for another hour before eating, but that's optional. I hope you guys enjoyed these recipes. Make sure to tag me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok if you're inspired to try one of these desserts. I'll see you guys next week. Bye! I can't